Hey guys, welcome to the second video in my DocuAir and Make YouTube video series. In the first video, I showed you how to connect Make and DocuAir together, both with the Make webhook, defaulting that within the DocuAir connections, and also adding a connection into your Make system for your DocuAir system. In this video, I'm going to take everything one step further and we are going to use the connections we've already made to download a document from DocuAir, upload a file to a Google Drive, and then send a success response back to DocuAir. To do this, I'm going to be building the make scenario that you can see on the screen now. Within DocuAir, we're going to be using a DocuAir workflow. We're going to call a REST web service within that workflow, and that will be the end of the process. Step one is to set up my DocuAir workflow. This will enable me to have all of the processes in place for when it comes to setting up the make scenario. To do this, I'm going to open up the DocuAir workflow designer. I'm going to click plus to create a new workflow. I'm going to type in all of the relevant information and for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to trigger it on every single document that comes into the cabinet. So I'm going to say doc ID is not empty. I'm going to choose web service and give it a name. Under the choose of the web service, I've got the make.com web service that I set up previously. Under the request, it's always going to be a post request. And the magic happens in the HTTP body. So in the HTTP body, I'm going to do an open squirrely brackets, return, to keep it looking neat. I always then go two spaces in, apostrophe, or speech mark, sorry, give it a name. So I'm going to say document underscore ID. And I'm going to map that to the DW doc ID of the document close the speech marks, comma, onto the next line. I'm going to take the supplier name, colon, speech marks again, and I'm going to take that from the DW supplier name. Close squarely brackets. Under the response, you can pull the response out if you want to and assign it to a global variable. For the sake of this demo, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it as it is. My request is now built, ready for sending to make. What we have to do next is get the root of the query from my make scenario. So I'm going to go back to make. And I'm going to select create a new scenario. I'm going to click the plus, And I'm going to choose a webhook. I want a custom webhook and I want to add a new hook. Give it a name, the name could be whatever you want, it doesn't really matter, you don't use it at any point. And save. What you'll see is I now get a full URL from Make for my webhook. So I'm going to copy that to the clipboard, go back to my DocuAir workflow. Under the root, click plus and paste the entry in. I do not need the prefix as this is what we set up in the previous session. So I can delete that out. I now have the full address in DocuAir which matches my make webhook. If I go back to the HTTP body, I can test whether this is working by putting in a sample doc ID and a sample supplier name and I can then click the send button to run the test.
you'll see I get an accepted response. If I go back to make, you can see make has now confirmed it can successfully determine the data that it's receiving. If I click OK, that has now saved those settings into make. The next phase in my scenario is to download the document from DocuA. So if I move the webhook over to give me some space, I want to add another module, choose DocuAir from the list. And from within DocuAir, I want to download a document. In the first video in the series, I showed you how to connect your DocuAir system up, so mine is already connected. I'm going to map it to the accounts filing cabinet. This is the same filing cabinet that I used in the workflow. For the document ID, what you'll see now is I have the ability to see the data from that test webhook post. So the document ID that I want is going to be the document ID that I sent in my request from DocuAir. Choose that. I then have the ability to choose a download format. This is quite important here. Depending on what type of document you want to receive out of DocuAir, you will need to select the correct download format for yourself. If you're running an approval workflow and you'd like to approve to show the document with all stamps in it after the end, at the end of the workflow, I would suggest as a PDF with all annotations. This will then show the full approval history of that document with the stamps within Google Drive. So I'm going to choose that for this demonstration as well. Click OK and that is my document download set up. The next phase is to add an additional module Google, that's going to then filter down and I want to select Google Drive. The terminology is going to be slightly different between DocuAir and Google, that's just the way the um, make methods have been set up. So I want to upload a file. This is going to ask me for the connection, my connection would already show. If you don't have a connection currently, you can click Add and connect up to your Google Drive. You then get the choice to enter a folder ID. I'm going to select from the list. and I want to go to My Drive, choose my folder location. I'm going to choose Demo. That's now all set up. For the file, I want to take the DocuAir download a document. I now want to choose Webhooks again send a webhook response. My response is going to be 200. In the body, I'm going to have squarely brackets, two spaces, speech mark, status, success. Click OK. That is my make scenario now fully set up. I'm going to save the scenario and I'm going to turn on the scenario as well. If I now go back to the DocuAir workflow, click OK, map everything up, click OK, save and publish my DocuAir workflow. I should now have everything ready to be able to store a document into DocuAir, trigger the Make Web scenario, and upload my file into Google Drive. So let's give it a go. Just to show there's nothing going on behind the scenes, if I go to my Google Drive, refresh the folder, you'll see there's no files there at all. If I go back to my DocuAir system, find a document I want to store. Let's take this one with the redactions on it from an earlier video. Store, save to accounts. You remember from the um, settings that I did earlier that the only information I'm taking is the supplier name and the doc ID. So I'm going to put test supplier in the supplier name, click store, 
that document stored away. If I go to my Google Drive, refresh my Google Drive, there we have it. The document I've just stored into DocuAir has now been exported out to the Google Drive as a PDF with the redactions that we completed on the document. If I open it up, I can see the PDF with all the data there. That's a guide on how to connect DocuAir and Make to download and export a document up to Google Drive. Thanks for watching.